Hi, welcome back to the Advocacy Update. I'm Jen Goodale and this is Corey Titus. And just like chow and hydration, cola watch is continuous. So let's dive deeper into cola. What is cola? So it's the cost of living adjustment. So this is something that we use to update things like retirement pay, disability compensation, survivor's benefits. Um, let's talk about the latest data points on that. Yep, so what we just saw was a kind of a prognostication. So ultimately it's the July, August, and September data that will ultimately determine the cost of living adjustment for the next year. But along the way, we're getting some signs as to where inflation will be. And what we saw is that uh, kind of a, the latest data point, and that points to a 2.6% increase. And that's compared to 2024, which was 32 and 2023, which was 8.7. Um, so how is this calculated? So you take those three data points from July, August, and September, you average them out, and then from there, use that to make ultimately make the adjustment based upon the change from the previous year. So it sounds like it's already written in law. Why does MOA conduct a COLA watch? So it's written in law for some populations, but not others. For military retirees and therefore survivors receiving the survivor benefit plan, that's automatic. Those changes are going to be adjusted based upon this figure. But for veterans receiving disability compensation and DIC payments, that's not the case. So there's a bill that needs to go through every single year that says, hey, this payments will be adjusted based upon the uh, COLA data. Yeah, and even though to date we've seen that bill pass, there have been some threats to COLA. So can you talk a little bit about that? We're always seeing you know, threats or proposals that could impact these payments. So the Congressional Budget Office, or CBO, every two years they do a report on how the government could increase revenue or decrease spending. And COLA is always something that is looked at by the proposals as a potential way to save money. So we're going to continue to track this, and if you want to continue to track it from home, make sure you're tuning in to MOA's website and checking out the advocacy section. Uh, join our Legislative Action Center, and we will see you next week.